You're watching NBC5 News in high definition. Good afternoon. I'm Christy Nelson. And I'm Brian Curtis. Today on NBC5 First at Four, you see cranes and scaffolding all over Dallas these days, but that boom may fizzle before the job is done. Well, the Dallas construction boom that continued while the rest of the country floundered may finally be slowing down. Indications are the Mandarin Hotel and Condo Project across from the American Airlines Center is on hold and experts say other projects may follow. NBC5's Ken Kaltoff is live in Uptown Dallas with the latest. Ken? Brian, you can't miss all the cranes here in Uptown Dallas. These are just a few of them. That's the St. Anne's office tower going up right there. Another office tower is right back over there and there are several residential towers going up nearby. But the fence has been whitewashed over what was the announcement of the Mandarin Hotel and Condo, part of the proposed Victory Tower project across from the American Airlines Center. They did build part of the parking garage, but other construction seems to have ground to a halt. The project's website has pushed the completion date back a year, and experts figure it's unlikely to be done then at this rate. Yeah, I agree. When you paint the sign, something's up. So. At the end of the day, when, when we look at it from a marketing standpoint, I believe the project has been put on hold. And I think right now, based on the national economy, people are and developers are being more conservative. So what does it mean for all these other buildings under construction now? New at 5 and 6. Reporting live, Ken Kaltoff, NBC5, Dallas. You're watching NBC5 News in high definition. Good evening, I'm Meredith Land. And I'm Brian Curtis. Signs of a slowdown have appeared in the downtown Dallas construction boom. Indications are the Mandarin Oriental Hotel and the condo project across from the American Airlines Center, both on hold now. NBC5's Ken Kaltoff is live in Dallas with the very latest. Ken? Dallas real estate experts agree the forest of cranes dotting the skyline is amazing, especially when you consider the rest of the country is in a real estate tailspin. No one forecasts a Dallas tailspin just now but a construction slowdown may be here. Stonely P. Bar and Grill waitress Sue Ellen Jones used to work at the old Stonely Hotel across the street in the old days. I met Frederick Crawford and it was fun. It was a great place to work. It was pretty crazy in those days too. Crazy now, she and all the customers say, are all the high rises going up in the neighborhood, like the condo tower connected to the just reopened Stonely Hotel. It's a shame because I do like the traditional feel of the neighborhood. How can people afford to live in these very expensive high rises? It turns out there may not be enough customers for them all. They've just whitewashed the fence around what was to be the Mandarin Hotel and condos across from the American Airlines Center. When we look at it, from a marketing standpoint, I believe the project has been put on hold. But I think, you know, once they start the project, they've got to complete the project and cross their fingers and hope they can make those sales. Commercial realtor Greg Biggs believes the national real estate problems are finally hitting the Dallas commercial market, too. Our opinion is that it's going to slow down somewhat, but we don't see the dire straits that you see in the Northeast or on the West Coast. Well, thank goodness somebody has jobs <laughs> that can do this. Yeah, absolutely. Many of the cranes are for new office towers. And so, as the condo builders hope to sell the other units new at six, will there really be enough new jobs to fill all these offices? Reporting live, Ken Kaltoff, NBC5, Dallas. You're watching NBC5 News in high definition. Good evening, I'm Meredith Land. And I'm Brian Curtis. Jane and Mike are off tonight. The downtown Dallas high-rise construction boom may be hitting the brakes. Indications are the Mandarin Oriental Hotel and Condo Project across from the American Airlines Center is on hold, and experts say it is one sign of a slowdown. NBC5's Ken Kaltoff is live in Dallas with the latest. Ken? Brian, you can't miss the construction cranes on the downtown Dallas skyline, even more amazing in a national real estate crisis. But the cranes have come down at one site before the building began. They've whitewashed the fence that used to advertise the proposed Mandarin Hotel and condos and removed the construction cranes after working only on a parking garage, not the building. I believe the project has been put on hold. Commercial realtor Greg Biggs says caution is the new Dallas mood after years of amazing optimism. You know, once they start the project, they've got to complete the project and cross their fingers and hope they can make those sales. Neighbors who've watched the high-rise condo boom are not surprised. How can people afford to live in these very expensive high-rises? I know that interest rates are low still, 
So money's cheap, but you still have to have the people willing to buy very expensive units. But many of the cranes are new office towers. People would like to office closer to where they live, and so there's kind of a hand-in-hand -hand bet going on there. As the condos seek buyers, the realtor says the new office developers will try to poach tenants from landlords of older towers, like the one that houses his firm in a tighter market. Our opinion is that it's going to slow down somewhat, but we don't see the dire straits that you see in the northeast or on the west coast. Dallas is a very active market. Experts say newcomers are still moving to North Texas, but expect fewer cranes the next few years as developers work to fill these new buildings. Reporting live, Ken Kaltoff, NBC5, Dallas.